Hi there, once again, Dr. Krish Bab here. Today I am talking to you about the most holy artery, the internal carotid artery, which supplies the entire brain and the eye. Both together supply both the hemispheres and both the eyes. Imaging techniques and various advances in various types of imaging have further studied the anatomy of this artery and classified into seven portions. The named in that order C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It arises at the neck level, C3, C4 level, at the level of the thyroid cartilage, the common carotid divides into external and internal carotid arteries. The internal goes more posterior and more medial. So the first portion is the cervical portion. Second, it enters into the cranium, into the petrous portion of the temporal bone. Then it presents into the foramen lacerum, lacerum segment. Then comes forth the most important, the cavernous segment, where the carotid siphon is seen. Then the clinoidal segment. Six is the ophthalmic segment, gives off the important ophthalmic artery. And eventually it becomes a communicating segment. It divides into its terminal branches and gives the communicating artery, which is going to form the circle of villus, complete the circle of villus. The second, fourth, sixth and seventh give the branchings also. Of course, branches are very difficult to remember for you, but at least remember these segments give branches, vital branches, and the biggest branches you should remember. For example, the pituitary is supplied by them, the inferior and superior hypophyseal arteries, the sixth segment, the ophthalmic segment, supplies the ophthalmic artery, very important artery. It takes care of the entire ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve. Its distribution also is similar. It takes care of the orbit, the orbital contents and that part of the superior third of the face which is medial most. It also gives the superior hypophyseal artery. The seventh segment the communicating segment, it gives us the posterior communicating artery. It gives the two anterior and middle cerebral arteries and the anterior choroidal artery. Interventional imagiology, interventional neuroradiology, neurosurgery has made this a playground the internal carotid artery has been studied and intervened millimeter, millimeter by millimeter last 20 years. Once what was thought as a sacred and a holy subject and left untouched is now dissected millimeter by millimeter and completely unraveled. At its origin is a classical atherosclerosis carotid endartrectomy and carotid stenting are done to solve this problem. When it traverses the cavernous sinus, it can get injured, traumatized, causing the most dangerous keratico cavernous fistula. We will get a pulsatile eye which is going to get blinded very soon if then it is not intervened. Of course managed deftly by interventional stenting as well as interventional venous occluding procedures as well. Then you got the most dreaded intracranial aneurysms. Aneurysms which are discovered, which are symptomatic and which are large are very neatly dealt with by open surgery called as the clipping of the aneurysm as well as by interventional methods called the platinum coiling of the internal carotid artery aneurysm. These are the latest advances in the management of the hitherto untouched subject. One should definitely make an attempt to study further and if you are interested, you can even study all the individual branches in detail. 
Thank you for listening. Don't forget to post your comments, likes or dislikes as well and help me progress in my channel of communication. Thank you.